Hi guys, it's Juliana from touristolocal.com and I am here to share with you my travel essentials from 2015. 2015 has been one of the craziest years for me. I've been traveling all over the place and I've surely learned which products shine amongst the others. These are products that you need to be carrying with you when you travel. Buy them for your friends if you need gift ideas because these things will save your life. The first product I recommend getting is an extra long extension cord for your iPhone. This is a three yard charger. It is so long when you're in the airport and there'll be an outlet that is far away from where you're sitting. You can just plug it in over there and just walk all the way across the airport and use this. Also great if you're in a hostel and the outlet is not near your bed. The one that I am using today is the USB lightning charger. It comes with two chargers and a suction cup little doodad that you can attach the parts of it to the wall. I don't use that, but this is great. You can get it on Amazon. The next product I will be showing you is one that I have lost all of my dignity by buying. However, I have no regrets about it. I had a problem on the airplane where I kept falling asleep on the shoulder of the person next to me and there was nothing I could do to stop it. It always ends up happening to me. And finally, when I was walking through the airport, I saw a two for $20 deal and I thought, what the heck, why not? And I got this. I am one of those people now and I hate it, but I love it at the same time because no more awkward moments for me. And you just put it around your neck and you sleep and you're just, just looking really great while doing it. So fashionable. And this one comes with a little hook thingy where you can attach this to like your backpack or a strap on your purse. I also recommend carrying around one of these battery life extenders. They look like this. And you plug in your charger to one end and it gives your battery an extra lifeline when your phone dies, if you're using the map or if you need to get hold of someone it's an emergency these things will save your life. Um, the one I use is the Anchor Power Core Plus Mini. You can get this on Amazon as well. Pretty cheap and really good to have. They last a really long time, so get it. Another product that's really great to give someone as a gift or is a Starbucks gift card. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Starbucks. I wouldn't just go there on my free will. However, they are in literally, probably every airport ever. In the one I went to in Seattle, there was about seven in the same terminal. It's beyond me. But anyway, these are great to have since the last thing you want to be doing is spending your money you saved up for traveling in the airport on food. Starbucks has some great options of things to eat. It has coffee if you're taking a red-eye flight. This is wonderful, so get it for your friends. Ask your friends to buy them for you. And the next product is one that every travel vlogger recommends, and I recommend it too. It is a microfiber quick-dry towel. The one I have is Eagle Creek, and it's pretty big. And it's made from microfiber and dries super quickly. It rolls up very nicely. When you visit hostels, you tend to have to pay for towels and this is gonna save you a lot of money. That extra dollar here and there will add up. You can use it as a blanket if you're cold on the plane, even though it's kind of weird, but um, they last you a really long time. Yeah. I also always recommend carrying around a travel journal. My sister just recently got this one and I thought it was so cute. I had to show you guys. Um, it says like travel, adventure, explore, and it's perfect for making little notes about where people tell you are good restaurants, writing down the address to your hostel, or just keeping notes about what your thoughts are from the road. Looking back on them is always so nice and it just makes you relive those memories. So get one of these. I also recommend carrying around a Nalgene water bottle. These hold a thousand milliliters and are great to keep hydrated. Just stick it in the pocket of your backpack and fill it up with water once you get past security at the airport so you can drink it. Water is important. Stay hydrated, my subscribers. Also, make sure you carry around one of those carabiners with it so that you can attach it to a part of your bag just in case it falls out. I know Vaga Brothers are selling a really great customized Nalgene bottle that comes with this, so I'll leave a link to my description to that. I also recommend getting an unlocked cell phone before you leave the United States. This one is an HTC AT&T phone. I got it for 30 bucks on Amazon, I believe. It comes without any um, SIM chip in it and you're gonna buy the SIM chip for whatever country you visit. So the one I have in mind right now is for Brazil, which makes me extremely nostalgic. 
it looks like this and you get the sim chip for whatever country and you put it in you have to pay extremely high international fees because you have your own unlocked cell phone you can take it to any country I also recommend getting travel cubes these ones are e-bags I got from Zappos they are wonderful because even if you just get one it's nice to put your dirty clothes in it to make sure you know which ones are dirty and what ones aren't in your backpack because things can get jumbled up um, and if you, get, if you get a couple it's really great to keep things organized and you can roll everything nicely and know which what is in which bag and not have to mess up your entire bag. So I recommend getting a big ol' one terabyte external hard drive. This one is from Seagate and it's perfect for travelers since if you're like me, you're probably gonna take a lot of pictures and videos and it'll take up a lot of room on your computer. So if you get one of these, they'll save your computer some space and you can keep those memories to last your life. And lastly, my number one travel recommended product is a sarong. Now ladies, these are wonderful because they have so many different uses. You can use it as a tapestry in your room. Oh how hipster and chic. You can use it as a scarf. You can use it as something to cover up if you're visiting a mosque. You can use it as a shawl to cover your shoulders if you're visiting a conservative place. You can use it as a dress, which I'll show. You can use it as a dress, you can use it as a skirt, you can use it as something to carry a baby with, you can make a bag out of it, you can use it as a beach towel, you can use it as a regular towel. I love sarongs. Get me these in every color because I need them and they're wonderful. This one I got in Brazil on the beach, which is basically sarong capital of the world because everybody uses these as beach towels. So get them and you will find there are a million uses for them. So those are my recommended travel products for you guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Also leave a comment of what products you recommend me trying out in 2016 as I start even more adventures. That's all I have for today. I'm Juliana and remember to keep the spirit of a tourist and the mind of a local. Whether you're on the road or in your very own hometown. I'll see you guys later. Bye!